Kubota B6100 with hydrostat transmission. Uh, lots of blow by. Hard to start, have to use the glow plugs all the time. Uh, try, I was going to try doing the glow plugs as the compression tester, but you try and put the fitting in here. It doesn't fit very well, so they have an adapter that you make up to fit in each cylinder. So let's uh, start it out. Every cylinder is open. Um, release that one. Cylinder one. Uh, we're gonna keep it there. It has, <clears throat> now this engine is about room temperature, slightly less. Uh, 325 is the low end for this engine. Try another cylinder. Cylinder two, and another note, uh, if you're gonna use this adapter, you need two copper O-rings or washers to raise this up so the injector nozzle isn't hitting the glow plug. You have to have a glow plug in to seal it up. Uh, call it uh, yet again about 320. Those two cylinders are at their low end threshold. Cylinder three. Wow, it's a little off. Cylinder three is not the dead cylinder. Cylinder three is the good cylinder, unless it has some oil in it or something, but that is close to 400. That's a good cylinder. So our two front cylinders might be dead. Gonna try putting oil in each of the front two, and if they get better, then definitely know it's worn out. Cylinder one with a little oil in it. Oh man, really jumped up there. Okay. So even though the back cylinder is the better cylinder, do the oil on the cylinder test is if there is a valve with carbon in it or um, the adjustment's off and it's leaking by compression on the valve, by putting oil in here you're sealing up the uh, worn out rings and get eliminating that. So in this case, this is definitely worn out rings. The valves weren't leaking because the oil was helping to seal it up again. Uh, cylinder two test with oil. Nothing up there. Now the battery might be getting weak, but uh, either way it jumped up almost 100 uh, PSI. It's definitely a ring issue. Project Farm did a great video on uh, using this product on his Ford tractor, uh, it's a diesel as well, and it really increased the pressure. Um, this tractor is old. It would cost about 500 plus, well, under a thousand dollars in parts to rebuild this in time. Uh, it is used a few hours a year. There's no point in rebuilding it. It does run, it just uh, starting to smoke and a lot of blow by. Now a theory I have with this is that this does have a um, copper, silver, lead alloy in it. Uh, I really can't see it on the old stuff. I used to, uh, I used it before back when I was a kid and I thought I saw copper flakes in it. If that's the case, and it, depending on how big this stuff is, it's just gonna get stuck in the uh, filter. So one, I'm using an old filter. I'm the original, or not the, I'm using the filter that's been on here for a while, so it's gonna be plugged up already and it might bypass. Two, I'm gonna fill the center, which is supposed to be the clean oil, 
of the oil filter and then put some in here now mind you this is a six cylinder bottle I do not need to use this whole thing uh, if this works I'm gonna try it on another the restore is in the center so it should be unfiltered and passed through the system um, hopefully better results who knows Uh, ran this thing about an hour with the restore already had to get a new starter um, the solenoid's been going bad where it just clicks not making good contact it's pretty sure it was original anyway it is starting better but let's get the numbers uh, and it doesn't smell as diesel as bad so um, first cylinder was really bad along with the second cylinder and the third cylinder was a-okay uh, after the restore, about an hour of running. Shoot. Sorry, fuel spraying everywhere. No way. No way. Four hundred PSI, that's a good piston. Uh, that's a good cylinder now <laughs> Wow um, It's it's super cold out here. It's colder probably than when I first did it uh, That's freezing um, Holy cow Cylinder one better under two Crazy better, almost up to 400, like it should be. Woo! Amazing. Numbers mean everything, not just, oh, well, I think it's better. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. Cylinder three. Cylinder three should be our control number, because that was the better one to begin with. It's it's maxing out uh, like it should be cl close to the 400. Oh, that's awesome. It's it's not going to make the better cylinder any better. Uh, well, the normal cylinder. It's not going to make the normal cylinder any better. But all of them now are close to equal, which would explain the better starting. Uh, conclusion: I'd use this stuff. Again, actually I'm going to. Uh, it smells better. I bet this summer starting is going to be a ton better. I just want to thank Project Farm. Because this is a pretty pretty nice little tractor. Handy. <laughs> Not even going to thank the product really. The product's just doing its job. 
because of Project Farm actually using real numbers, the numbers led to me actually thinking, hey, maybe this project, bleh, maybe this product is worth a try. Totally worth it. Um, hey, if you, results may vary, duh. Um, if you have something major like you use starting fluid and something pre-detonated and you have cylinder damage, this might not work, but this is just probably worn out. I mean, the glow plugs are all fine. Uh, you know, just looking down on the cylinder, can't see anything wrong. Um, man, that is so cool. Diesels need compression to start. Well, a mix of the compression creates the heat to ignite. Weak cylinders, especially two out of three, uh, is going to slow the start down, uh, not burn the fuel right, my smelling and smoking issue. Uh, but, but as far as starting is concerned, yeah, a good starter, a good battery, you want the speed to build up the pressure as fast as you can. But if the cylinders can't hold that pressure, you're not going to start as fast. You're just going to burn out another starter, uh, weaken your battery. When your battery's weak, you actually hurt the starter, drawing more amps versus volts. Uh, compression is key in a, in a diesel and, and totally worth it. Uh, maybe some of you guys can chime in on how good of a start this is. All right, I'm glowing it for about 10 seconds. Um, it's roughly right around freezing. Okay, it's been about 10 seconds. Oh, well. I didn't prime the fuel system. So you know what? That's a freaking amazing start for it. I mean, this cold and the fuel system was not primed. That, that was my fault. And I'll glow it again for a few seconds. Gosh, I feel like a big dummy. You know what, compared to any of the starts I've had, this is freaking amazing. I mean, yeah, start up, you're still gonna get some smoke, but Jesus. 